Alright, hello everyone, I am here, welcome to another Product Coaster video where we're, we're back on the unnamed park and we're, we're continue building, continuing to build the unnamed steampunk invert. Yes, we're continuing to build, build, build the thing that we built the last episode, what a surprise, anyway, um, yeah, welcome, um, to, this one's a long episode. It's just occurred to me, I am, y you see, I've got a load of video files of the, um, uh, of the, the footage of this thing, and I just grabbed a few, which, because I thought this is where, I made a mental note saying this is where an episode should end, because this is where I build the station and the queue line, and I think maybe the maintenance shed as well this episode, I'm not sure. I know we start the queue line, we definitely finish the station. So yeah, I just put all those clips in, and I've just realised it's like 17 minutes long, which is quite a long episode for the Iron Age channel, but normally like 5 minutes because I didn't have enough time to film that week. Anyway, this is the station, as you can see. Here it is. And um, yeah, it's a it's steampunk themed, so there'll be some steampunk theming going in soon. And here's me putting some wood on it. Like that. Anyway, yeah, the station's made out of bricks. The buildings of this area, look, are all made out of bricks like this station. With them, the same sort of wood on them and stuff. They have some like cogs on the side of them and like steampunky stuff. I repurposed a lot of the western pieces for this. Like the um, the steam train, I used that. And some of the boiler pieces. And um, yeah, I think the cogs are western as well. Basically a load of the western pieces will be um, used. I think this is me trying to find one now. Yeah, here we go. These are, these are pistons. And um, it cogs, which I'm putting down on this wall now. And yeah, here's a boiler. These boiler things. I um, I use these as well to go on the side. I connect the piston up to it. I don't know what this contraption is. Probably does something. And one thing I was meant to add is some um, some particle effects, special effects sort of thing with steam. I haven't added them. Or at least I uh, don't think I have. I, I ha have added them now, but I don't think it's in the footage. I mean, I think, I remember, because I recorded this a while back, because I've been busy recently, I, I recorded this last week. I remember putting some sort of effect in, I don't know if it was that. I don't know, I'll check anyway. And if it's not there, I'll obviously add it. I know this is the queue line now. Um, I'm put, putting some more cogs on the wall, and I'm put a steam train in here, I think. Maybe go somewhere else, I don't know. No, it, uh, yeah, there's the train, choo-choo. Um, yeah, that train's just there, there's not really, there's no rails or anything for it, there's just a train there. We love trains, there's just a train in the middle of the queue line. Because why wouldn't you have a train in the middle of the queue line? Anyway. Yeah, um, more wood. This is I'm actually building a main station building now. Um, that building I was just detailing is like a little offshoot of the station, which the ride goes through before it goes up the lift hill. I um, I just put that on there because I thought it would make make it look a bit more interesting. And um, I sort of came up with the idea that maybe having the um, the lift hill machinery undercover would be better for it. Because of rain, I don't know. It just looks cool, so I did it. I don't know. Yeah, this is me trying to search for the, these windows here. The windows I used on the other one. They look completely different in the tab that they do on the building. It took me ages. And it's, um, you see, um, you see in the corner, it's like a, a, a creamy coloured, like, window frame. A frame in it, it's like creamy coloured but in when you place it down it's brown maybe I had some recolored in the settings a bit I don't know I have no idea 
But yeah, that took ages. I, I feel already done now. That took right five minutes. Uh, maybe, maybe not five minutes, but it took an embarrassing, embarrassingly long time to find that piece in the in the in-game menu thingy. And now I'm doing fences, more fences on the um, on, on the exit ramp. Yeah, the exit ramp. Yeah, these are custom fences. These very cool. They're literally just a wooden bar, but still custom fence. It does look a bit low to be honest. Not sure that would be um not sure the health and health and safety people would like that. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the I'm building a concrete pit now. So um yeah, yeah the concrete pit because obviously there's a big ditch there where the coaster goes close to the ground, so I need to build some concrete reinforcements for it obviously. Here we are using the, um, these are steampunk fences, or Victorian fences I'm using. On top of the temple pieces, recorded to look like concrete. So here we go, surrounding it with them, um, with the fences. And honestly, some of the, um, the, the fences would look a bit close there. Do I change it? Do I change? I don't know if I change that, you know. I might change. That does look a bit. Hmm. Oh, here we go. I think I'm testing it now to see how close it is. Oh, no. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is me change, just connecting. Just changing it so it would. Obviously, not cut the guests' legs off. Seems like a pretty smart idea to do that. Although I'm not sure. Maybe, 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 maybe I shouldn't do that. You know, maybe the guests enjoy having their legs violently ripped off by hitting into a fence at 48 miles an hour. If I read that correctly, because it was on screen for just literally a second. I think that said 48 miles an hour on the speed thing. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. I'm just smoothing this out. If you're wondering um, how this is going so fast, this is using an auto clicker and the, um, the mod which lets you click smooth forward and smooth backwards. I just use the auto clicker and hover over the smooth forward and then the smooth backwards buttons. So, yeah. Okay, here's me doing a POV. It's not the smoothest in that area where we've just retracked. It's a bit rough there, so yeah, I, you can't really tell because it's sped up, but yeah, I do go back off camera and continue smoothing back, which is the reason why there's no supports on it. Yeah, anyway, I put supports on some other ride, I did that last episode, I don't don't think I do anymore today. Not too sure, but yeah, this is some rocks, do you like these rocks? These are cool rocks, which are going in the, in the valley thing, just to Look, you know, and some bushes. Ooh, yeah, detailed. Lots of bushes, lots of rocks. And yeah, now a tree, another tree. There we go. And oh, another tree. Three trees. Come on, do something interesting. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing more fences, guys. Dude, don't you love fences? These ones are only short fences. Or slightly bigger fences than what I just put down, but yeah, these ones are um, because there's two fences here, so yeah, there's two fences blocking the coast. And also, this is interesting because it is on a slight slope, this, so I have to go back and find more curbs in and stuff. But yeah, I did design this area intentionally to be on a slope, like I mentioned last episode. Um, just makes it look more interesting because my parks are always really flat. I don't like it. So I decided this this park will not be flat. It will be a nice slope. And it will have lots and lots of interesting things like this. These bushes. Very interesting. Oh god, what's happening here? Dunno. Don't know if that was Premiere Pro being weird and that's fine on the final export, but the camera was very glitchy just then. 
what am I doing here? I've discovered a tiny gap that the bushes won't fit in. <laughs> it, yeah, it's fine. I made it work in the end. And that little gap there, which I left because the fence, the, the custom better fence curve I made was too big. I think I go back and fill that in with something. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I'm using the little curb. And yeah, there is still a small gap there, which I am aware of. I'm not blind, I promise. That small gap is going to be filled by a lamp post. A lamp post. Which I'm building now. Oh no, I think I try and make a sign first. But the signs. In game signs are just too big for something like that, so I turn it into a lamp post. So I put some more of them around. There we go, nice lamp post. That's actually two lamps rotated. Oh no, it's not anymore. Oh, is it? There we go, two lamps rotated around because I just find it looks nice and four of the things sticking out. And also, it makes it brighter. Like each lamp is brighter because you see. In, in game they're made to look obviously emit as much light as the old style lamps would do because that's what they are but in real life park would obviously use leds and just make them look like old oil lamps so they'd be probably be a bit brighter which is what obviously because you want to be able to see this is just me waffling by the way to excuse the fact that i just placed two identical lamps in the same air, uh, didn't move them, they just rotated them. But yeah, it just looks cool, really. This is um, this is the indoor queue building here. I'm building it now, as you can see, it's nearly built already. The frame work of it. There we go. And you see how the the, the walls cut into the the roof. I'm gonna, uh, this is me fixing that now. With them some wooden frames like I put on the other building I told you the buildings were going to be similar anyway yeah there's this building and then there's also the maintenance shed building which I can't remember if I build this episode or not I'm not entirely sure but yeah there's, there's, um, there's a maintenance shed and then that's it for the coaster itself well obviously there's the shops and stuff around which I don't think I've built in this yeah I'm almost entirely sure I've not built in this, in this episode I've built a couple of them in the present right now but I've not had too much time to film recently so this was filmed last week basically I, I was anticipating this I was anticipating an error on my oh not an error just a lack of time really and like an effort maybe or whatever which means I wouldn't have much footage so I, all, all, all of this footage was recorded a week in advance so I have a backup in case I can't film anything one week very smart I know here we are putting more wood in there we go in the inside is a bit of a mess but we're not gonna we're not gonna look at the interiors because I can't be bothered with them. Yeah, I can't be bothered with interiors really. I think I am. Um, I think I do go back and make sure that, that I put a roof on inside the um, inside the station and this building. I think I do that off camera though. Just make it so there's not random walls in it everywhere. But I don't I don't really put any like theme in there or not because big parks make my computer struggle already. That's the reason why my other series has probably ended. I might make another episode on that, I'm not sure. But it, it, my computer does not like that park. Oh, it's not really... It can handle it fine. It's just when I'm recording, it can't. Oh, I mean, it kind of... Just, it just it's quite laggy when I'm recording. I just prefer to build it. I'm not liking it a lot, so... Yeah... That's why I don't like that pack. And also, with some of the, I kind of got burnt out on it, and some of the stuff on there is horrendous. So yeah, we don't really talk about that pack anymore. 
which we also don't talk about festive shows because that, that, that was that's been extinct for a year now still not finished that but I might go finish that you know it's nearly it's nearly Christmas should I finish festive shows comment down below user interaction I'm saying that at the end of the video telling people to comment yeah that's not a great idea also join the discord whilst I'm at it probably should have said this at the start but yeah join the discord um subscribe like um do a comment yeah comments are good comments boost the algorithm which likes my videos recently it's not actually liked for as in like giving me a like but it's been recommending my videos to a lot of people recently for some reason i don't know what's happened but it seems to have picked my channel up and I, uh, because the last video has like 200 views or something. I think it's 200, it might be 150, I don't know, it's a very big number anyway. And it's been like that for the past few videos, I don't know why. Something must have happened. Maybe. But did I get like, advertised somewhere? Like has a big channel mentioned me and I've not realised because I don't know what's going on. Anyway, yeah, I'm building fences now. This is, we're nearly coming to the end of the whole thing. Like, in about another 30 seconds. So if you enjoy the video, like, subscribe, join the Discord. I've already said this, like, 30 seconds ago. You, you know. Anyway, goodbye, everyone. And I'll hopefully upload again next week. Hopefully.